Now, in its strongest statement yet, the United States has stepped up pressure on Egypt's military to stand aside and hand over to a civilian government as soon as possible. The appointment of a veteran former prime minister to head a new cabinet has done little to appease the tens of thousands of protesters who are tonight demonstrating there in Tahrir Square for a sixth day. Our foreign affairs correspondent Jonathan Rugman joins us now live from just overlooking the square. Uh, Jonathan, what's going on? Well, Chris, they were billing this as the last chance million man protest. Well, it's certainly not a million people. Uh, at its peak, it may have been about 100,000 people in the square behind me. It's a fraction of that now. But it's certainly the biggest protest we've seen here uh, in months. Uh, and the truce between these protesters and the police appears to be holding. And the people behind me are united by a simple philosophy. He who controls Tahrir Square controls the destiny of Egypt. Uh, they are ridiculing tonight the appointment by the military of a new prime minister, Mr. Ganzuri, who is a 78-year-old crony of the Mubarak regime. He was a prime minister who served Hosni Mubarak. What they're asking for is a transition to civilian government right now, real civilian government. Uh, that's a firework behind me, by the way. And they are getting support tonight from the White House, from the Americans, because the Obama administration has issued this statement saying the new Egyptian government must be empowered with real authority immediately. In other words, the Americans are using their military aid budget, which is $1.3 billion to Egypt, to apply pressure on the Tantawi uh, military council to say transition to civilian government as soon as possible. Although when I spoke to protesters in Tahrir Square earlier this evening, they were decidedly unimpressed. We don't need any interference from the White House, from the European Union, from anyone, because we are capable of doing and making our own destiny. I do not care what America do because I do not trust the American government. Well, what I see is that we Egyptians are the main thing in the revolution, and we Egyptians will remove the military council. Well, can the voting begin on Monday? The military says the voting is going to go ahead. It's a complicated process. It won't be till March until we actually find out what the results are. But there are reports coming in tonight of tear gas uh, and Molotov cocktails being thrown in Alexandria. We don't know how this weekend is going to play out. The military is going to be hoping that this country is sufficiently divided and that it has sufficient support that it can carry on in government until next summer when it says there will be a presidential election. There were 5,000 people in another demonstration in Cairo today supporting the military and saying the military should not leave power right now. The, the addition to the equation that we don't know about is the Americans saying that they uh, want a quick transition now. And that may force the military to uh, issue more concessions quicker than it had hoped. Thanks, Jonathan.